Big news in Microsoft IoT land, they announced the NXP i.mx8 family of ARM processors for the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise family of operating systems. So not just the core, but the actual IoT Enterprise product. So you can now use the NXP ARM processor with Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about their little announcement and also talk about a new processor placemat. That's right, there's a new updated processor placemat with an additional tier. We'll talk about that in a minute, but let's first start with the news about the NXP processor. So showing you here on the screen is the announcement that was came out in April, um, where the public preview of the NXP version for the IMX8 family of products was available, not for the IoT Core product, but for the IoT Enterprise, which is, that's big news um, because some of this stuff had been in the works for IoT Core, but we really wanted it on IoT Enterprise and it is in public preview back then in April. Um, I know th that there's some announcements this week with uh, Microsoft Build going on, so we might update this video later, but for now, big news, NXP IMX 8 family on IoT Enterprise. And you can see the part numbers here at the bottom and we have those downloaded on our system. And uh, they, they became available in May on the May price sheet. And there will be another part number for the for an LTSC version uh, available in June, which we'll talk about here in a second too. But if you look at those part numbers, you'll see that it has the word base in it, which caught people off guard a little bit because that is a new tier on the pricing model. So let's take a look at the value-based processor map now. This, uh, the way Microsoft licenses the IoT Enterprise family of products, um, it's one product with one product key, but you have to buy the COA sticker license based on the processor of your device. And you've always had entry for Intel Atoms um, right here. And then you had the value, which was for uh, Core i3, Core i5, a few other different processors fit into that tier. And then you had the high end, which really covers all processors, uh, but it was for your Core i7, Core i9, Xeons. And now they've added base. Now the base at this point, the only option is NXP, but I would expect that there will be additional processors become available, not just NXP, but additional lower, very low, lower than entry, right? They had to come up with something lower than entry that will become that will also show there so for now we have nxp imx 8m because an 8m mini i believe are the two that are supported with that and that means the price point will drop down even below the entry um, and i'm not allowed to put prices on here on the youtube channel but you can certainly reach out to us here at arrow and i can we can quickly give you a quote whether it be email um, so ken.marlin at arrow.com or ms embedded at arrow.com we can and you want a quote we'll give you an email quote on what these things cost so if you want an idea of what the different price points are for those three and then i'm showing you the um you know the current windows 10 iot and enterprise ltsc version 2021 that product is not the arm version that's the one for your intel architecture x86 down there those are those parts for it but in comparison the brand new base and with the latest news that we just got um, the base SAC is available now, but there is an LTSC one that will be available in June. Um, we don't have the part numbers for it. The part numbers you see here are for the OPK. Those are for the um, OEM pre-installation kits. So that's the media kits. So if you have a current agreement, you can start to download this product and throw it on an NXP board see how it works for you because that's certainly an option that you could lower your licensing cost and possibly lower your hardware cost and if it has enough performance to do what your appliance would do that is something to consider and look at um, this is certainly something that was in the works for a long time with nxp and so we're super excited that it is available or it will be the ltsc version is what what most folks would want and it will be available in june um, and the SAC version is available now. With that, 
thank you guys for watching and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Keep up to date on the latest news. We'll see you.